I am selling my entire seashell collection. Let's take a look at what we have for sale and I'll tell you guys why I'm selling it all at the end of the video. Guys for a quick little walkthrough of the room to show you guys what's for sale and then I'll specify more on the larger shells for you guys. So obviously I'm going to be keeping all of the gifts that I've received from people. But other than that, everything that I've purchased, I am unfortunately not going to be keeping. So here we got a bunch of massive helmets, two giant spindles, a bunch of giant balers, a couple of random things over there, a bunch of tritons, cone shells, carry shells, scallops, and some more random stuff down there. And of course, the giant coral. Alrighty, let's take a look at some of the specific shells. In the specimen case here, these are the more rare, uh, expensive, small specimen gem shells. So these ones are all very rare. And we have a lot of carry shells in here. Some have already sold, but you'll have to check out on the website what is still available. Pretty cool, we got a marginata right there, a friend eye, giant uh, spondylus, pleuro slit shell, Bunch of other things here, a giant wentel trap. Now just down below it, we have a ton of Nautilus shells. Some real giants there as well. 230 millimeters long for that one there. That one is a giant. And we have a bunch more here. So they're all up for sale. And now I'll show you guys the mega shells. Right here we have a 620 millimeter long Syrinx Arana spindle. Anything over like 400 millimeters for this uh, species of shell get very, very rare and very expensive. So this one is also up on the website for sale. It's beautiful condition. The lip is perfect. The tip is about as perfect as you're gonna get for this size. No cracks or holes or anything. This was one of my prized possessions. But yeah, stay tuned to the end of the video to find out why I'm selling them. Let's take a look at the others. Here we have a near 400 millimeter giant helmet shell, Cassius Cornuta. This has been my prized possession for about four years. Um, again, anything close to even this size is very expensive and very, very rare. You just can't get them this size anymore and this condition. This condition for this size is just immaculate. No holes or anything. So if you want to grab this one as well, and be probably one of the only people on the planet to have one this size. Grab it now at shellcade.com. Let's take a look at the other shells. We have something pretty rare. We have some blue coral right here. Now, the reason why blue coral, or this specific blue coral, is very rare and expensive is, is because it takes a lot, lot longer for this to grow compared to just white coral like that, like a big chunk of it. Now, that's still expensive, but these are very very rare because they're blue a lot of coral loses their color as soon as they die so yeah grab that now while you can there's only one piece and this is it now here we have two triton trumpet shells these are incredible size these are both 395 millimeters in length by far the biggest ones i've ever seen and had very very rare very massive these are getting very hard to purchase, especially this size and condition. Pretty huge. Shellcade.com now. Now I'll take you guys through a little tour of what's the sort of smaller shells that are for sale. We have a lot of Murex. Now anything that's not listed on the site will be going into mystery boxes. I thought that was a pretty cool idea and it saves me a lot of time by not having to list every single tiny shell. So a lot of these are... These all are sold in a batch, so one specific bundle, because that's how I bought it, and a lot of them have labels and data, which is perfect for a collector. Here we got some carrier shells, very nice. Here we got all my ton shells. Now remember, about 15% of what I'm showing are gifts, so some of them won't be sold, of course. Here we've got an olive batch. These are all sold in a bundle as well. I've got the Strombus. These aren't on the website, so they'll be placed into mystery boxes. As you can see, there's a massive gap there. One's been sold already. Got a giant Welk and a giant Turbo Shell. None of those are gonna be sold, obviously. They're all my top finds ever. Then we come over to the Coral. We've got a lot of pieces here. 
Got a giant chunk of coral right there. Very, very cool. Coral maze, everything like that. Mushroom coral, blue coral, as you already saw. We've got flame coral, that's what I call it. Two very rare pieces of cave coral. Nice bit of red coral, uh, more mushroom coral and cauliflower coral. We've got a bunch of urchins. Now, only one of these urchins are on the website and that's that big spiky boy. The rest are also going into mystery boxes. I'm around here. None of my queen conches are for sale. I got the massive queen conch from Imogen for my 20th birthday, so that's obviously never gonna be sold. And I wanted to keep it as a little family. So all of these ones are for sale, except for that massive triton there. That was a gift as well. We've got some Florida horse conches, good for an Aussie collection, because they're harder to get here. And a lot of variety. So a lot of those are also not specifically on the site. They're all going into mystery boxes as well. Come down to the cone shells. I've got a huge variety of, well, not very huge variety, but they're all so unique. You know, we have giant cone shells there. We've got a giant textile. I'm pretty sure that's already sold though. And we've actually got a pretty weird uh, tulip. That's a really nice variant. We've got another tulip there. So a lot of these, again, are going into mystery boxes because I didn't want to put them all up on the site. That would have taken way too long. Alrighty, here we've got some carry shells. Pretty cool. We've got some giants there, like huge. They're all up on the site as well. And then some smaller specimens. Now as we move down the line, we have a lot of spondylus, a lot of good stuff. Then as we go down the line, that one is on the website. Uh, these are all also on the website as a bundle, all the ovulas. Then as we go through here, we've got the abalone. I don't think they are specifically on the website, so they'll also be going into mystery boxes. Mystery boxes are by far my best sellers. Everyone loves mystery boxes, so that should be exciting for a lot of people. All my textile finds, they're obviously not going in. Then we have a giant baler shell there. I'm gonna pull that out right now and show you guys. Here's the giant baler shell. I believe this one measures like 420 millimeters long. It is giant, by far the biggest one I've ever had slash seen. Now, this is a very thin shell. So these are also very, very hard to get this size. Because I mean, just look at the opening here. It's very, very hard to not break through its life. So these are really hard to find. Pretty cool. So this one's also up, shockade.com. Now we still have a little bit of good balers right here. I really love that patterned uh, baler. Then we have a bit of a freak baler here. See how the points go in instead of out like that one. I'm pretty sure it's a freak. I've never seen one like it before. So that's really interesting. Got a biggish one there as well. That one is gem condition. I don't think I'll be selling that one. That was the first baler shell I ever purchased as well. Then we have another giant Syrinx Uranus. That one's actually 640 millimeters in length. So that's just slightly bigger than that one. Two centimeters bigger, but it is still huge. Just massive. And we have a lot of volutes here. I love my volute collections. Got a giant Mamilla. Some other little specified ones here. Pretty cool. Another Mamilla Sour Bee or Sour Bee. And a tiny Mamilla. Couple of good ones there. And then back to the helmets. We also have a Freak Syrinx Uranus. Freak Spindle. So that's the exact same shell as these ones here, just the, what is it? The tail is freakish. That one's pretty huge. Let's take a look at that one we as well. We have a freak spindle shell. As you can see, compared to when I was holding the other one earlier, the other one was very long at the tip, or not at the tip, at the tail. But this one is extremely freaky. Look at that. I've never seen anything like it. Never even seen photos of anything like it. So that is very, very cool. Very rare. I'd say it's almost rarer than those because it's a freak. They are so, so hard to come by. So that one's also up for sale.
Alrighty, let's take a look at what else we got. We have two more helmet shells here. As you can see, this one here is only about 340 millimeters in length, I believe. So it's not, it is still huge, but it's not quite that huge. So that one's also off for sale on the website. Then this one here, I believe is as well. It's more of a skinnier shell, but nonetheless, it is still giant. After the reason that I'm selling all of my shell collection, as you can see, there is a whole lot of shells here. It's an entire room full. I cannot fit anything else more in this room. So the first reason that I'm selling the collection is because I'm going to be moving houses a lot in my life. We plan to travel and everything like that. So, um, and we also plan to buy a bus and that sort of thing. I don't own a house. I'm only 20 years old. So that means I'm going to be renting houses a lot in my life, especially if we're moving a lot. So I don't want to be taking this entire room and moving it every single time we move houses. So a lot of shells would get broken in those sort of scenarios as well. And um, yeah, let's move on to the next reason. The reason is because where we live at the moment, uh, it is extremely expensive and hard to find rentals right now. Um, it's very, very hard enough to get even one room to rent and it is very expensive. So just imagining how I could get two rooms to rent and let alone how expensive it would be, uh, it sounds like a nightmare. So I don't want to be forced to sell them very quickly if we have to move out sometime really soon or just really fast on short notice whenever um, and be forced to sell my collection for very cheap or put it into storage where it's just going to get broken and that sort of thing when we're moving it and just collect dust sitting in boxes for years while I try to find somewhere cheaper to rent or maybe even a house to buy. So uh, yeah, it's basically just for my enjoyment that I'm keeping them all. You know, I love all these shells to death. They are my collection, you know, it's definitely my greatest achievement ever, but I'm not rich, so I can't just go and put them in my house and just stay here forever. So it is unfortunate, but it's what has to happen. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want any of these shells, go check out shellcade.com now. Thank you so much for watching.